To our next story. You know, the 10th National Assembly has reportedly passed an amendment to the 819.5 billion Naira 2023 supplementary budget, uh, thereby allocating 70 billion Naira to support the work conditions of new lawmakers. Now, the Deputy Speaker of the House of Reps, Benjamin Kalu, said the challenges of the Senate and the House members that were malfunctioning, you know, would be taken care of as a result. This singular event coming at a time that calls for sacrifice on all sides defies simple logic, if you ask me. Honestly, you know, um, what is, how do they exactly explain this to the people? <laughs> I was looking at it and, and I, 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 I don't seem to understand what they are trying to say. That you want to, you know, do what for them with 70 billion naira. When the people they are supposed to represent are out there suffering, they haven't done a thing yet mm. on any of their promises. They have not delivered on any, not even one, on their, one of their promises. Yeah. And you already then what, what I what came to my mind was okay, you want to you know suit the situation of the newcomers. So does that mean that you old timers are already you know taken care of or what? What exactly is going on? This calls for question, it begs for answers. Mm. Why are they putting this 70 billion naira together for these newcomers? Does it mean that those who were in such offices before, those, those that these newcomers defeated, did they cut away everything that was in their offices? Or? It, it, you know, sometimes even above these figures will always boggle the mind of, minds of uh, everyday Nigerians. Ugh. One billion naira is a million naira in a in thousand, a thousand places. places. So this is one million times, one thousand times seventy. For how many? Newcomers. Gide, maybe you have a, 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 a clearer picture to paint here. You know, um, the reason many people are losing confidence in our leaders and are losing faith in democracy is the conduct of our leaders. We all know that uh, this time calls for not just sober reflection, but sacrifice on the part yeah. of everyone. We allowed West subsidy to go on for so long. Now we have realized that as a nation, if we didn't uh, get rid of it, it would get rid of us. We got rid of it, but we cannot deny the pains that it has inflicted on our people. We can't deny the sacrifice that it demands from the everyday Nigerian. A situation in which our elected lawmakers, 469 of them, do not want to sacrifice like the rest of us, because this is what I can glean from what has happened. They don't want to put themselves through the sacrifice, through some measure of pain that the everyday Nigerian is goes going through, through mm. at this time. Mm -hmm. it, you know, it goes through that pain. Goes through. Uh, goes to, through. To yes. elect them. Goes through. No, we didn't have to go through pain to elect them. We is pain now is an everyday thing. Okay. For the every uh, for the everyday Nigerian. Yeah. Pain is now. A recurrent thing. When you go to the market, I've spoken in the past about the fact that for the first time in my adult life, I see Nigerians slice a tube of yam mm. into several parts just for them to be able to eat yam. Yeah. Never in our history had that happened. You buy your tube of yam, you even cut away several tubers. But today, people feel like eating yam, but they can't afford it. Now, the sellers have defied, I mean, devised the way. Let's slice it into uh, many parts so that if it's just one, one slice that, that you can afford, 
you go on with uh, that slice, mm -hmm. you still have the feeling that you've eaten yam. Now, they are saying they want to ease the work um, situation of new the members. Newcomers, yeah. Yes, this is not the first time that we're having new members. In fact, our National Assembly is not like what you have in the U.S., where someone can stay in the National Assembly for 51 years. Mm. Somebody stayed in the National Assembly for 51 years, in the Senate in the U.S. for 51 years. Um, the mm -hmm. current vice president. Kamala? Uh, no, the no, current the president, president of the yeah. U.S. Mm. has been there for more than 40 years. Yeah, Joe, yeah. Now, in our own case, the turnover rate is extremely high. Mm -hmm. Before they finish their term, party leaders are already Lining up. Uh, uh, thinking of replacing them <laughs> with other people who have given them money. Before they finish their term, governors who are heading out of office are already eyeing their positions. So in every electoral cycle, we see a high turnover of federal lawmakers. So it's not new. Bringing this as an excuse to slice 70 billion out of money set aside for palliatives is a third insensitive completely out of grain with the situation that the rest of us are facing. And what they don't realize is that when you tell people to sacrifice, they will point to what these fellows are oh, yeah. doing. Oh, yeah. This is not the time for something like this. Yes, it was, they say 70% of them are new. So what? Mm. If the season that we are in demands sacrifice, Leading by example should tell our selfish federal lawmakers that leading by example should actually start from them. Mm. But that's not what they want to do. They, they are not interested. They are still under the illusion that Nigeria has not changed. They still think that, oh, this expensively put together presidential system, we can continue the way we've always done. Oh, by the time it dawns on them, I only hope it won't be too late. Yeah. There's no reason, but of course the president will need the approval and all that. I'm sure it's part of the negotiation. Ah, uh, we will look at the they approve this speedily. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm not blaming them for approving something speedily. Mm. You know, because we need it, we need palliatives at this time quickly. Look at the uh, um for example in the agri sector. Whatever you try to do to ease the pain of farmers who have lost their farmlands to floods. I cannot say no, yeah. it is not timely, or that you should not do it. But shoehorning this uh, 70, mm -hmm. their, their request into the 819 uh, uh, billion supplementary fund, I mean, it's, it's not right. It's just not right. And uh, it, it reeks of uh, an entitlement Syndrome. It's syndrome, you know, you know. You know the 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 the, the feeling of entitlement is, is a Nigerian thing. Oh yeah. It's a Nigerian thing. Even our kids will sometimes behave like yes, they suffer from the entitlement syndrome. <laughs> now <laughs> the <laughs> leaders of the National Assembly, yeah, they are thinking, oh, uh, if we are doing something for the very poor people, they too deserve. A slice of the action. It's very, it's okay. very sad. Yeah. This is a very bad piece of news. And uh, about another name is impunity. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it has to end. It has to end. If we must get out of it, we, it has to end. Everyone must sacrifice. All right. Simple.